Hey folks, Armin Hammer here, and today we're going to be talking about what comes next now that the 2019 CrossFit Games Open is finally over. So even though the Open has been over for a week and a half at this point, we still don't have an official set of invites. We have the leaderboard, but even the leaderboard isn't completely locked yet because HQ has given themselves this huge task of actually doing more video reviews this year than they ever have in the past, and for very good reason because the Open is now a direct qualifier for the CrossFit Games, so you have to make sure that everybody is actually on the up and up when it comes to their scores. So now that the Open is over, there are two dates that you have to keep in mind. The first is April 29th. That is the deadline that CrossFit has given themselves to complete video review of all the submissions that they received over the course of the Open and make sure that the leaderboard is locked. The second date you have to keep your eyes open for is May 1st because that is going to be the day that HQ officially notifies all the athletes that earned their spot at the CrossFit Games through the Open. That's national champions as well as top 20 worldwide. Outside of the obvious reasons why that is an important date, we also have kind of this secondary trickle down effect because once we know who has their national championship qualification spot and the worldwide top 20 qualification spot, we can actually look back and see who gets the invite from all the sanctioned events that have occurred until that point. And at that point, May 1st, we're actually looking at eight total sanctioned events, not just the five that occurred before the Open finished but three more that are taking place in April. Now it's really unlikely that the worldwide leaderboard changes in any dramatic fashion, but there are three sanctioned events between now and April 29th when all those video submission reviews are done and the leaderboard is locked. And between those three sanctioned events, the Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge, the Italian Showdown, and the Asia CrossFit Championship, between those three events, there are nearly two dozen CrossFit Games athletes competing. And without a firm grasp on exactly who is getting the spots from any of the previous sanctionals or from the open, there's a lot that's up in the air here. Lucky for you, that is why I'm here. Because remember folks, there's a whole lot going on in our space and it's easy to miss some of the most interesting and important stories. That's why I'm here. I hope you guys find some value in this. I hope you guys like watching this stuff. I, I took a little bit of time off after the Open. The Open itself was very, very fun, but also an aggressive content schedule. I was, I was really getting crushed. And you know, it took a couple days to rest, relax, recover, talk to people on Instagram, answer emails, talk to people on Reddit, that sort of thing. And I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten, not just over the past month and a half, but also almost over the past year from when I launched this channel. I would not be doing this without you guys. It means a lot to me. I cannot express that enough. I really appreciate it. And if you do like this stuff, please share it. Tell your friends, subscribe to the channel. Let's get this thing growing. Let's get this thing moving because there's a lot of sanctional events upcoming. The CrossFit Games are just around the corner and there's a lot a lot to cover. Hopefully we can do that together. Thank you very much, folks. I'll see you guys next time.